It wasn't oh. that, James. It was more like. <laughs> he stole my one. I know he did. I asked for it. Well, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. But no way. I, I, I feel uncomfortable with the presence of that giant hole, because I know at the bottom of it is Nigel Farage's soul. So Guy <laughs> guys, <laughs> do, you, do you think we have? Do we think our um, sugar cane farm is large enough? Eh? Do you think our sugar cane farm is large enough? What do you mean ours? It's mine. I made it. You just went and manipulated it. I didn't manipulate it. I extended it. It's ours, you knob. We share. I can't. I, it's not letting me pick up anymore, even though I can. It's fine, Jamie. I... We've learned from history the people that own the farms aren't the ones that work on them. Especially with sugar. <laughs> or cotton. Oh, cotton. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. So at the start of this recording, all you're going to hear is you going, No shit, Sherlock, and they'll never know what was no shit at Sherlock. James. Yes? Why is my house surrounded in dirt? It's a bit more than just dirt, just dirt, Fraser. My dear friend. <laughs> or not quite dear friend anymore. I shall just accept the inevitable. <laughs> Jamie, can I just say one thing? Yeah? You're a cunt. Oh, shit, I forgot you JESUS hand. FUCK! <laughs> <laughs> what?! What is this madness?! <laughs> JAMES! <laughs> Time to fail's house. Surrounded <laughs> in dirt. <laughs> oh, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life! <laughs> James. Yeah. What happened to Rory's sewage? Well, anyway. Back to the real problem! <laughs> oh, 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 I think that's the best thing I've ever done. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna rip your balls off and shove them down your throat. A throat. Your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I like your first interpretation, which was a throat. I said yours. I said, yeah, you fruit, you fucking fruit. And then I'm gonna tear them out of your ass and cut them into slices and feed them to your granddaughter. But I don't have one. Exactly. So it's gonna be you again. I'm gonna fucking do something not very nice to you. <laughs> I already have a fucking shovel. I've made two shovels now. <laughs> I am ready to shovel. Uh, this is the best decision I've ever made. It's not, no. <laughs> it's you're to start feel, a second war. You're gonna feel the wrath of my shovel. Oh, I've already felt it before, Fraser. Don't you worry. I'm gonna start up here. Don't fall now. That's quite tricky when my house is encased <laughs> in anti-fall materials. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should come and say hi to you no. or stay behind my shitty defences. I'm gonna get Clive on ya. Clive will fucking... I cannot get to this dirt because there is cobblestone in the way! <laughs> right, first dirt coverage completed. It's outside of my windows. <laughs> There. Oh, I've decided if you're not going to let me keep you in it, you were going to stay in it. <laughs> that sentence made no sense at all. <laughs> if you're not going to let me keep you in it, I'm going to keep you in it. <laughs> if you're not letting me keep you out of it, then you're going to have to stay in for the rest of your life. Oh, good. <laughs> right. Now, for the cobblestone problem. <laughs> Why, why is it always in my house? Why do you never attack Rory? Because Rory got really upset by those two blocks of sewage we put down. Really? Yeah, he said, why did you, what, why have you fucked up my house and why haven't you fixed it? I was like, dude. Oh, uh, yes, he's going to see this recording and see, get, ta, fuck. <laughs> he's going to see this recording and realise how easy he got.
I hate you. I I've hate got you 16 so much. stacks of this to go, Fraser. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Wait, I feel like Belgium. I did nothing. Yet I'm still fucked over. Why didn't you just go through France? <laughs> no, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really want to know what the view was like when you first spawned in. Well, you're gonna fucking find out one day. It would be just like, why is my house underground? <laughs> It was dark, and I was like, oh, it's night time. And it was night time, and I know that by looking at the fucking... Nope. Get away. <laughs> yep. I like how extensive I was. I've, I've oh. not even done this bit yet. Like... I'll come back to that. No! Oh, I found him. <laughs> oh, how did he get it? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to worry about this. this is, I don't need to worry about this. This is your own house. You enjoy. Tally ho, I'll just finish in my job in here. Try and trap me in. Oh, lovely. There's one thing he's forgotten about. <laughs> what? On even detail, he is not considered. Come on, come on in. When you go in, you might find you have a friend in your house. <laughs> I love how we always find a way to grief a non-griefing server. James, you may find that your wall is slightly bigger than it used to be. Oh! This is unfair, I have to fight off zombies without my kit because ground items removed when a skeleton killed me. Oh yeah, I wonder who led those zombies here. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be safe on the inside. A bit. <laughs> oh no, I've just fucking seen my <laughs> Where 
is that prick? <laughs> He's just TP'd in, hasn't he? <coughs> Are you having problems there, James? Yeah. <laughs> How many of them did you get in here? Just a couple. I believe there's a skeleton somewhere as well. Where's the skeleton? There's a skeleton. Come on, round here, skeleton. Oh yeah, have, have fun going to your second floor, James. Right, I'm in. I'm inside my house. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe not quite. But don't worry because all my machinery kit is down here, so can you make an aluminium pickaxe? No, you can't. Let's stone pickaxe. What'll do. Oh that's what I should have done. I should have taken all your tools. <laughs> <laughs> Teams, do you want to know why there's so many spiders around here? Why? They spawn in forests. So? Have you seen the outside of your own house? Yeah. It's a ginormous forest you've created. Yeah, you've at least we've got the, wood. You've created the ideal breeding ground for spiders. At least we've got wood. Yes, but spiders, like, can lead to your house. <laughs> oh, you done a pathetic job of this. I ran out of time. <laughs> It's quite hard to finish the job when you uh, lose rights. Um, um... So you broke a hole in the side of my house? No. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna keep the battle repairs as a different type of wood so you can see the battle scars of the house. <laughs> oh, fuck! Actually, no, this isn't too... No, this isn't too bad at all. I'm not worried. Now the record is, I'll even have an official document that we can put into the check of Brian. What for trees? Yeah, between us. Yeah, but not between us and Rory. No? no That's how we can tell the new trees terms that we have someone else together. Jeez! Mm -hmm. Right. Shit, I'm blind to hell. Oh, you stuck into the wall, yeah. yeah. I still have to get outside my house again. James, I still have to get in my house. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I am. I'm I've already had dirt to deal with your eyes with. I will start using the ammunition to use. I'm just gonna quickly pray to Brian. Brian! Sorry. Here comes one. Okay, say Brian. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> James, do we need another memorial? Yes. Why is Reginald not gonna pen next to the memorial? Because he broke three of his leaves. Oh, God! He got angry. Devil horse! So we're going to put him in the pen. That's fine. Oh, I forgot that key. The private meat are almost too cold and not nearly warm enough. Warm enough. You know what I said to him in the National Prize in music? What? He's like, uh, Miss White has put the tables on the desks. And this one National Prize just went up to me and went, Did she really say that? And I went, I've made a mistake. So he's like, Yes! <laughs> and they looked at me like, You're just really shit at life, aren't you? And that, to which my response was, Well, at least I can play keyboard. And I just walked out. And bless him trying. Let the prospect see. When we get slammed by a guitarist, I could be double taken as a junkie. I'm not a junkie. You're skinny and you have no idea how to shave. But you may not much help. I do know how to shave, I just can't be fucked. Yeah, but it looks like you're not. You can't talk, you look like a homeless person with the stupidest shaving regime I've ever witnessed. At least I want to look that way. You said I don't want to look like a junkie. Look at how long it takes to say junkie. I was swallowing my pride. Sitting to swallow. I can't talk that much. Do you want me to ask someone else about the second of that? What? What? Are you asking somebody about my cock? Nobody else has seen my cock. Are you sure? I'm, I'm not. That's the worrying thing. <laughs> I think Bryce might have. No, no. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, just, I'll reword that. Nobody's seen my cock that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, 
I have a plan. We'll make a... Yes, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Oh ye, oh ye, gather within the church of Brian, for his saviour will night to speak to you. I shall join you briefly. I am torching the yeah. memorial. There we go. Will you rise as we bless our holy messiah? Hey! We raise our hands to you and to thank you for the life you have given us and to apologize for what we may do with it. You may be seated. <laughs> Serious moment. Most recently, our village has come under attack of a most recent conflict between two rival parties. The two parties have thus ceased hostilities and wish to commence a truce with each other. To commemorate this truce, we shall now head out to the war memorial of which has been built very extremely recently. So can we all parade quietly in remembrance of those who have passed away? Time to fail, could you lead the parade? Hey, party! <laughs> shall I, shall I wrote it, so shall I read it out? Yeah. Oh! No! We're being under fire! <laughs> Heavens! Heavens, Archer Boss! Holy shit, my fists do a shit ton of damage. Holy shit, my fists do a shit ton of damage. One second. Hello and welcome to our new war memorial. You have an hour in you, sir. I will have a guest speaker up, time to fail, who is part, who unfortunately committed part of the war atrocities. To be fair though, you, you, did, you did the rest of it. <laughs> time to fail, please step forward. Yes. Um, so, I have kindly offered my services as a miner, a mason, and a bit of a knob to build this war memorial. Here we have listed the cobble soil war casualties, the ambiance, local grass life, a few zombies, and one local chicken. Here we have some kind words to read out. Hello, Mum. <laughs> Good night, Mum. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy your enjoy your nap. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I'll cut that out, don't we? Here, yeah. we have some wise words to guide us through difficult times. Thank you. For all to remember, we are only as good as the reminder of sin. For you to be great, remember the sin of the first placed block of soil or cobble. For you to be evil, remember the weapons of war can be turned against you. The hate you disperse will be returned in greater force. To sin is not to win. To win is to sin. Remember all to kindle the flame of friendship is to remember that the one who broke the peace is the very same as the one who everyone thinks is a prick. In short, don't be a wanker, don't get upsetty, have some spaghetti. Our Messiah Brian.
can you please and take our words of apology and forgive us for ruining the land of which you have blessed upon mankind? Please don't be upsetty. Have some spaghetti. Thank you, Tentafair. Now, we have got documents of officialness that will mark the truth forever and put it into the history books for to the end of time. For those who are interested, the documents read Truth documents of Mark Cornwood Inquiries of the most recent war between the two parties Souls for the deaths in time to fail A truce will be struck upon the holy ground of our messiah, Brian The responsible party will have to give up their own tools and tools of destruction in aid of the victimized party The victimized party has been requested to clean up their toils but due to our laws they can deny this request Cobblestone will now become a tax product and will be for use of construction only. Future wars will be settled with more stricter punishment. In sight of this recent war, the general public has asked for a contemplation of a currency of which can be used for punishment by fine. Signature of responsible party, Social Das, me, has already signed this. I will now hand this over to the victimized party for their own signing. If you could give me it back once you are finished. You must trust me on this. We're off. It's just the usual summary of out-of-pocket expenses. Time required. Remuneration. Funeral arrangements. Terms. Cash on delivery. Up to, but not exceeding one fourteenth of total profit, if any. Seems fair. Uh, present company. <laughs> You shall not be liable for injuries inflicted by or sustained as a consequence mm. thereof, no. including but not limited to no. lacerations. Evisceration? Incineration. Oh, aye, I'll melt the flesh off your bones in the blink of an eye. Huh. You're right, laddie. Huh? Yeah, I feel. I feel a bit faint. Think furnace with wings. Yeah, I, I, I need air. Flash of light, searing pain, then poof! You're nothing more than a pile of ash. <laughs> nope. Uh, very helpful. Don't sign it. Don't sign it. Why? Because I need to add a little bit on the end. Signature victimized party. Colon. <laughs> Time to fail. Thank you. The Cobble Soil War has now been closed as a settled conflict. No more damage will arise because of said conflict. I shall now sign the book and return it to the holy chest. Book title, Truce Documents. Oh no. Truce. Cobble soil. Sign and close. I thank you all for attending this sermon. And we hope this will be a one last step forward to an everlasting peace. But this is the world and that is extremely unrealistic. As our Messiah and Brian already knew after facing the Romans. <laughs> and the liar. I'd just like to make one more small addition, um, if you will. I would like to invite you, before a memorial, to witness the last piece in memory of the ambiance, the Tree of Brian. Our Messiah was sacrificed with a liar and people of conflict, but he forgave them as he let the liar go under his own name. He then died for our sins on the cross. We hope that this tree 
and sacrifice to our Messiah will please him in his holy rest. Hail, Brian. Hail, Brian. Amen. Amen. Right, fuck it, let's go to the pub. Yep. Quinford? Quinford? You're sublime food. You're mine of that. <laughs> <laughs>